Hey, this is Steve with The Shooting Edge, your source for guns, gear, and gifts. Welcome to our brief overview of the Smith & Wesson MMP9 Performance Center, available in-store or online at theshootingedge.com. Intro. Smith & Wesson released their new Performance Center MMP9 at the 2015 SHOT Show, chambered in both 9 and 40, coming in a 4 and a quarter inch barrel or 5 inch. The Performance Center pistol one-ups its little brother by including several enhanced features. This particular model that I'm holding now is the 40 caliber in the 4.25 inch configuration. It is 10 plus 1, of course, because we're in Canada. The front sight is a white dot dovetail. The rear sight is a fixed two dot. The grip is polymer. It weighs in at about 23 and a half uh, ounces. The barrel material is stainless steel. The slide material is also stainless steel. And the frame, of course, is polymer. He's like, huh, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. So what are some of the enhanced features this thing includes? Ported barrel and slide to reduce muzzle flip, an adjustable trigger stop to stop trigger overall travel, three interchangeable newly enhanced textured palm swell grip sizes. It has the core feature, which stands for Competition Optics Red E, <laughs> which essentially is just a cut in the slide so that you can mount a red dot on top. This particular model we uh, threw a Vortex razor on. Uh, the one in front of me here has a shield optic on it. And of course, because it has the Performance Center stamp, it comes with an enhanced trigger and a Performance Center sear. Included inside the hard case are two magazines and three of the back straps. Of course, the cable lock instruction manual are under the foam. It does not include the red dot. Uh, we have kitted these up. We'll sell them as kits, but they don't normally come with them. Do you want me to hold up a regular MP and be like, ported, because this one's ported and the regular one's not, and you can cut that in? <laughs> ported, not ported. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We're heading into the range uh, where we've set up a few scenarios to demonstrate the new features and see how they hold up. expecting you. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, it's Steve here. We're in the range with our balloon friends behind me for test number one. That's my breath. <laughs> You're gonna have to block this out unless Rockstar pays us $850,000. Hey, we're finished our tests of the Smith & Wesson MMP9 Performance Center pistol and it passed all of them. We really, really like this pistol. The aggressive stippling on the back strap made the gun easy to hold onto and very comfortable. The ports cut into the slide in the barrel uh, noticeably reduced muzzle flip, which allowed for double taps, um, accurate double taps, I should say. It is worth mentioning that the pistol does not include a red dot. We mounted a red dot for our tests because, um, well, we could. Um, previous models of the MP9 don't allow for it. Um, so we did mount the red dot and it allowed us to acquire the targets a lot faster and it was a lot of fun. Uh, the enhanced trigger we found to be incredibly crisp with a short reset. Although the gun is, is quite pricey um, in that it doesn't actually include the red dot, uh, the pistol exceeded all of our expectations. This gun's like my uncle that once bought a Corvette and he never even floored it once. <laughs>
Thanks for watching our brief overview of the Smith & Wesson Performance Center pistol. Leave your comments, questions, and feedback below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.